hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason and this is a hypnosis session to help you with self-esteem please get yourself into a comfortable position lying down or a flat surface or sitting in a comfortable chair close your eyes only if it's safe for you to do so and I'd just like you to get in touch with how you physically feel in this very moment noticing how your upper body feels noticing how your torso feels, the hips, your legs, all the way down to your feet, your hands, your elbows, your shoulders, noticing your neck, the throat and the back of your neck and those muscles either side of your spine going from your neck all the way down to your lower back and there may be background sounds where you are there's a few background sounds where I am I think somebody's mowing their lawn in the distance which is nice of them um, <laughs> I'd think at this time of night they wouldn't be doing that but it appears they are but this is hypnosis and you don't need to have complete silence it's not sleep this is an opportunity to just focus on a specific thing and when you focus on the subject of self-esteem it gives your mind an opportunity to reduce the focus on all those other things that you don't need to be thinking about in this moment so the first thing that's very important for you to get in touch with is a feeling of gratitude towards yourself and this may seem like an unusual thing for me to ask it may seem like a a weird thing to do you may even wonder what has gratitude got to do with self-esteem and the thing is self-esteem covers such a broad spectrum of things it's not just about feeling confident within yourself, it's not just about accepting yourself it's not just about actually appreciating yourself it's not just about loving yourself it's not just about wishing the best for yourself and in that process removing those self-limiting blocks that may currently be there and the good thing about hypnosis sessions is those things that used to get in the way you know like a, a block if you think of it as an actual physical thing 
in your mind, you can imagine it's just made of ice and it can just melt or it could be made of concrete and you can just crack it open with a sledgehammer and just crumble that wall or you can just drive over it with a steamroller flattening whatever it was that was getting in your way before whatever was limiting your life and your mind before can just reduce so that's one of the benefits of your mind being able to make those changes because in your mind anything is possible because it's just a thought in the same way as our entire life quite often is a bunch of reactions to our thoughts or a reaction to somebody's behavior which is a reaction from their thought so behavior and thought and all that stuff obviously is connected. So self-esteem is not just one thing and it means different things to different people. And it may be useful to find out what it actually means for you. What does having more self-esteem mean to you? And to have more of something, you need to already have something. You need to know what it is you want more of. And in order to know what it is you want more of, it takes focus on that particular thing. And then, you really can get in touch with knowing that there is a path, a path, a journey, a route, a route, whatever you want to call it, to where you want to go. So, coming back to feeling relaxed and calm. And now I'm gonna ask you to count down from 20 down to one. And whilst you count from 20 down to one, I'm just gonna to talk to you. I'm not gonna count down with you. I'm just gonna ask you to count down from 20 down to one. And during that time, I'm just gonna talk about the potential of making these decisions, the potential of self-appreciation, the benefits of feeling gratitude towards yourself, being grateful for who you are, being grateful for the things that you have, being grateful for maybe the friends that you have, but most of all being grateful for who you are. And this is not necessarily about money or possessions or stuff that you own. This is more about who 
who you are as a person to really get in touch with being able to focus on that feeling of gratitude towards yourself. Imagine what it would be like to really be in touch with all the wonderful things that you've done to help others. To really be in touch with the effects, the beneficial effects that others have felt due to the things that you've done in your life. So if someone was to feel really grateful towards you, how would that feel for you to turn that around and experience that feeling yourself as yourself, focusing that love, that gratitude, that appreciation just at yourself? In fact, getting in touch with reality, the reality that you truly are an amazing person and you've done lots of good things and helped lots of people during your life, even in ways that you may never realize, it may have just been a kind word that actually transformed another person's life. And you may never know about it. So as you get in touch with that feeling of gratitude towards yourself, and as you hold on to that feeling, Hold it inside your heart and let it spread. Or maybe you can focus on where it is in your body right now. And let it spread. Let that feeling grow and spread throughout your entire body. And as that feeling of gratitude spreads throughout your entire body, you can now focus on that feeling of self-esteem. In fact, you can just notice how you feel about yourself right now. Noticing and comparing how you feel right now in this very moment. To the way you felt 15 minutes ago before we started this session. Before you decided before you decided to really feel amazing and allow yourself to get into full contact with how you feel and to really really appreciate yourself in a way that 
nobody else will ever understand what it feels like to be you, what it feels like to live in your skin, what it feels like to think with your brain, to feel with your hands, to touch with your fingers and to taste food with your mouth. Nobody will ever understand or know what that feels like, all those senses together, looking through your eyes, hearing through your ears. Because we all experience life differently. We all experience the world differently. Therefore, you're the best person to really appreciate yourself. You're the best person to really believe in yourself. You are the ideal person to appreciate how wonderful you are and to recognize how far you have come in your life and how far you can travel because you are the one that has lived inside your body from the moment you were born until now. Nobody else knows what it's like to be you. Which means you can really get in touch with the honesty of being who you really are. The kind, caring, loving person. And you can get in touch with appreciating that part of yourself. you can allow yourself to get in touch with that love for yourself which transforms every thought every feeling every emotion that you have as you look towards the future your mind transforms and changes so that when you see something, it transforms into something more beautiful. When you hear something, again, transformation occurs because you're hearing and you're seeing through the feeling of self-love, the feeling of really accepting yourself, the feeling of pleasure, not pain, feeling of love, not hatred. And you really can enjoy being yourself. You really can experience more of this feeling of love and kindness towards yourself. So that every day transforms into something beautiful. And every step you take towards the future is another step towards love. More love more understanding, more self-acceptance and that calmness that you can feel right now in your mind really can be amazing. So that brings us to the end of this session 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.